Mike, I understand you've done a lot of work to analyze and strengthen entrepreneurial ecosystem around the world. I've checked your guide, Strengthening Entrepreneurial Ecosystem. I think it was the GIZ one uh, and some of your videos over YouTube. Um, can you tell us a bit more about this work and um, what you've observed about, you know, um, uh, the role and the importance of mentoring in supporting entrepreneurs? For my own programming, you know, from the initial, I mean, I didn't know men what mentoring was when I really got involved in this, you know, in early to later 2000 or middle to later 2000s. Um, but you would have these coaching mentoring sessions and literally you would see magic, I think, and feel magic. You would see the power of the engagement and you would sort of understand there's something going on here. You couldn't quite sort of describe it or quite understood it but I you know and I remember someone from I, I brought into a project I had in Egypt um, from Silicon Valley kind of called it like this physics like you just have all these people you know connecting and it just creates this powerful energy source and so you know in in and that really in in, in, in a lot of the programs that we did um, had this mentoring I always thought you know the most important thing is to get these you know, business people out and, you know, and, and feel accountable to help a, a new generation of entrepreneurs. And then it was interesting, I, I would, you would try to extend that out. So the relationship would be more than just this one time hit, you know, that it could be a reoccurring thing. And then you even saw, I saw even more powerful things from that, because I felt like the, it was, it was almost like the entrepreneur started to become a little bit accountable to the, to the mentor, not that it was, any sort of governance around that. It was just like, there's trust build up and, you know, and the entrepreneur would commit to things. And then the mentor would somehow, you know, by just being there almost <laughs> kind of have that commitment there and, and really, and it, but it was all based on a relationship of trust, you know, from, from that perspective. Um, and so when I, you know, later in my career, when, you know, some other uh, projects, um, you know, specifically the World Bank actually asked us to develop some, training guides around entrepreneurship support organizations and incubators. I actually did a very deep dive on mentoring. I, you know, I got to talk to organizations that de developed their own mentoring program, including, you know, Mobley. Um, and, you know, did look at some of the research, you know, back then around 2014 or 15, I believe, um, you know, and, and got a, a much, you know, better sense that this is, you know, a, a much more complicated thing than we imagined because it's a relationship. Um, you know, and, you know, there's different parts of, you know, both from establishing the relationships, making the matches, you know, getting the relationships going, managing, recording, or understanding what's going on in the relationship. There's like a lot of process that I think a lot of organizations, when they look at mentoring, don't understand, um, you know, from, from my experience. And so, um, and, and then the other part of that, you know, and I think even later, like, so I became a true believer, maybe not as much of an advocate as people in Mowgli are, but I came a true believer, you know, in, in mentoring. And, you know, it was always sort of when I was asked to advise or design a program, it's like, you know, it's like the first thing I just talk about. Um, but I've seen other data in, 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 in both, both like within entrepreneur support organizations in a broader sense that sort of had mixed because I was always driven by data, driven by the global entrepreneurship, uh, or, I'm sorry, the startup genome and also Endeavor Insights, which kind of, it had an interesting piece of data, which they both hit on, which was basically, if you have entrepreneurs engaging with successful business people, there was great impact. And they specifically said, you know, sales and revenue and, and raising money, both of those. So I always, in, 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 you know, kind of thought, well, that kind of means mentoring. But then like I saw other data you know, specifically, I would look at specific ESOs and sort of their data of how happy their entrepreneurs are with their mentors. And it was a bit mixed, you know, from that, you know, data on an individual organization level. And then I, I remember when Andy started to look at this uh, with the Gali research. Um, and then you really, I, I thought mentoring would be up there, but what was interesting is networking was always sort of number one. And then mentoring was kind of like third or fourth in sort of what entrepreneurs really appreciate it. And there, you know, and so, and, and part of what I contribute that to is that I don't think a lot of these organizations know 
how how to do mentoring, you know, because it's complicated. It's it takes some resources, it takes some thought, and you know how to design a program. So you know, so you know, I still am, am an advocate and believer in this, but I I believe it just doesn't happen as I once maybe thought of just the magic of you know it's just bringing people in a room and letting them sort of engage. There's really a process to make that happen. So that's kind of been my journey around mentoring. 